Now, with just a day left for Prime Minister Modi's visit to Jammu, NIA takes over probe in terror attack that took place on CISF bus in Jammu. Ahead of Modi's visit to Jammu's Samba district on Sunday, security has been beefed up in Jammu and Kashmir. A team of National Investigation Agency has also reached Jammu's Sunjuan area to investigate the terrorist strike on CISF bus that was carrying 15 personnel. Two terrorists and a security personnel were killed in the attack. Jammu and Kashmir cops have also detained some suspects in the case for further questioning. The attack took place near an army installation in Jammu where forces retaliated and terrorists were forced to flee. A total of three companies of the CISF are deployed in the Union territory of Jammu and Kashmir to maintain law and order. The CISF company of the 3rd Battalion along with Narwal police have also been deployed at the Jammu city ahead of Prime Minister's visit to Samba district. The Prime Minister will be inaugurating projects worth 20,000 crore rupees, including Rattle and Quar hydroelectronic projects, Delhi Amritsar Katra Expressway, Banihal, Kazigund Road Tunnel. Security is a major challenge. What happened in Sunjwa has set alarm bells in the security establishment and that is why multi-tire security arrangements have been made for Prime Minister Narendra Modi. This village has been turned into a fortress. You have people from different security agencies who have been deployed here. Central paramilitary forces have been deployed in large numbers. Jammu and Kashmir police, SPG has also arrived here and they have also taken over the responsibility of the main security. Helipad is ready for Prime Minister's chopper and people in this village are also excited about Prime Minister Narendra Modi's visit. The people of Jammu and Kashmir want that Prime Minister Narendra Modi should make a big announcement for them. On the other side, I will just ask my camera person to show you the pictures of the Panchayat Ghar. Prime Minister Narendra Modi is going to visit this Panchayat Ghar. He is going to meet the Panch and Sarpanches of this village. And he is going to also listen to their problems. So it's a big initiative from Prime Minister Narendra Modi. He is going to meet the locals here. He is going to address the Panch Sarpanches of Jammu and Kashmir. And the idea behind is to send out a message that the government wants further empowerment of the grassroots democracy in Jammu and Kashmir. As far as this village is concerned, just before Prime Minister Narendra Modi's visit, a solar power plant has been set up and this is going to cater to the energy needs of the households here in this village. With video journalist Neeraj Kumar, this is Sunil Bhatt reporting from Pali village in Jammu and Kashmir, Samba district for India Today. This is uh, the Pali village where the Prime Minister is going to be uh, addressing uh, the uh, punches as well as all the intermediaries. Uh, let me remember, uh, tell you, as far as the village panchayats are concerned, there are at least 2.5 lakh of them. Uh, then we know uh, district level are around 662 as well as 6,600 intermediaries panchayat. Uh, so this is going to be on the National Panchayat Raj Day. Uh, that is what is going to be observed. And the Prime Minister is going to be here himself. Uh, he is going to be inaugurating a uh, project's worth 38,000 crore rupees. He is also going to be uh, looking at various avenues of investment as far as Jammu and Kashmir are concerned. Uh, there is going to be a meeting with the businessmen. Uh, there is obviously going to be an exhibition as well. Uh, so all eyes on Pali village. And remember, it's the messaging of DG, especially here. Uh, with the ground force, we see additional forces being deployed at this point of time. And clearly, uh, when it comes to the Prime Minister, uh, his message uh, to the punches and sarpanches, and remember, several of them have come under attack over a spate of uh, terror attacks taking place. Uh, remember, this is one of the challenges, but many say uh, this is also going to perhaps kickstart uh, what has been awaited as the elections in the Union territory of Jammu and Kashmir. All right, let me quickly cut across to Kamaljit Sandhu, who's joining us live from Pali, uh, Jammu, where Prime Minister Modi is all set to arrive. He's uh, going to be visiting that area, also going to be signing several big ticket projects from there. Kamaljit, give us a sense of uh, what's, what's on the cards for Prime Minister Modi in Jammu. We're looking at uh, the state elections as well after. after uh, a while now taking place under Modi regime. Uh, 
amid that huge projects that are going to be rolled out under the central government? Give us a sense of what, what are they? Well, a high-level symbolism is being attached to Prime Minister Narendra Modi's first visit since uh, abrogation of Article 370. Uh, so, 24th April is the National Panchayat Day and he's going to be here. We've been told he's going to inaugurate and lay the foundation stone for multiple development initiatives worth 20,000 crores. He's going to inaugurate the uh, Banihal Kazigun Road Tunnel. Uh, we've been told this is perhaps going to be virtual. Uh, preparations are already underway and this is the connectivity uh, from Jammu to uh, uh, to the the rest of Kashmir to India is, is where things stands as of now. Again, uh, Prime Minister is going to lay foundation stones for the three road packages, which is Delhi, Amritsar, Katra, uh, which is also the Ratla, Kawar, hydroelectricity packages. Uh, Prime Minister is also inaugurating uh, or to launch uh, the Amritsar over, uh, which is uh, basically rejuvenating 75 water bodies. Uh, but it's also the important messaging which comes in. Uh, it comes just two days uh, earlier. Uh, there has been an encounter. Uh, the investigation is still very much uh, underway, uh, the case expected to go to NI. Uh, so when we have a, a hostile neighbor as Pakistan, and even though there may be a regime change there, uh, it's the messaging to the border. And we've seen uh, whether it's uh, Home Minister Amit Shah who's spoken that uh, terrorism has to be eliminated from the roots, or whether it's to uh, attack the ecosystem of the terrorist. Uh, that is very significant. Uh, but clearly, uh, the political parties would be looking at a political messaging of sorts. We've seen a uh, spate of activities, whether it's uh, uh, JP Nadda who's been coming here. We also expect uh, right. uh, Home Minister Amit Shah to be here uh, by the uh, first week of uh, May. Right. Uh, he's expected to be in the Sankalp Yatra. Uh, so the messaging has to be there. One Prime Minister's uh, message to the UT is also about the punches and sarpanches and as I mentioned to you earlier, uh, several of them have been attacked in the right. past few years and months in right. specific... We're looking forward uh, to this big ticket rollout by Prime Minister Narendra Modi. This is his uh, almost his first push right after abrogation of Article 370. Uh, we're going to keep our eyes focused on this in days to come.